A very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has ratified and issued laws 31 and 32 for the year 2017. Law 31 stipulates the approval of the Kingdom of Bahrain's joining the protocol supplementary to the Convention on Suppression of Unlawful Seizure of Aircraft, signed in Beijing and dated September 10, 2010. Law 32 stipulates the approval of the Kingdom of Bahrain's joining for the Convention of the Suppression of Unlawful Seizure of Aircraft related to international civil aviation, signed in Beijing and dated September 10, 2010, upon the following reservation. The Kingdom of Bahrain does not consider itself bound by the provisions of paragraph 1 of Article 20 of this convention. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of Kuwait congratulated the Kuwaiti Crown Prince on the successful medical checkup he recently underwent and prayed to Allah the Almighty to extend good health upon him to continue the development march under the leadership of Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. Both sides reviewed the historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and the development they witness in various fields. The Crown Prince of Kuwait expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his good sentiments, which reflect the depth of Bahaini-Kuwaiti relations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadibiyah Palace a number of royal family members and senior officials. His Royal Highness affirmed that the strength and cohesion of societies and their keenness to serve their country and contribute to its march is the reason for Bahrain's leading role in various sectors. He affirmed that the people of Bahrain are the country's wealth and that investment to create a proper, prosperous future. He affirmed that their needs are the top priority and that continuous visits and follow-ups to various villages are to facilitate government services and provide high living standards for the people. His Royal Highness then discussed with the audience the heritage of the kingdom and affirmed that it is of great importance to the government. He added that the kingdom's heritage is the identity of Bahrain, which needs protection, and said that it's full with achievements and will motivate further generations to future contribute in this forward march. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadibiyah Palace members of the Bin Saloum family, where they expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's condolences for the passing of Ahmed bin Mehsin bin Saloum. They praised the leading role of His Royal Highness and his keenness to communicate with citizens in various circumstances. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of communication in the society of Bahrain and the need to enhance it to strengthen national unity. His Royal Highness then highlighted the contribution of the deceased, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. The family expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's sincere feelings, wishing him abundant health and prosperity.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the organisation of this year's Ironman Middle East 70.3 Championship will differ from previous years. In addition to the placement of swimming, cycling and running racetracks in one area, Bahrain Bay. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the Kingdom's regular organisation of the Ironman Championship reflects its position as the home of triathlon in this region. The Ironman Championships will be held on November 25th. His Highness added that the organising committee has begun the necessary administrative procedures to organise the race, communicating with various concerned parties to achieve the highest levels of coordination and assign tasks to all committees early on. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the hosting of this championship reflects the wise leadership's continuous support to the race, which has contributed to Bahrain's successful organisation of Ironman Championships. His Highness pointed out that the participation of a number of international champions increases the event's significance and paves the way for strong competition. He also expressed confidence that Bahraini participants will achieve outstanding results, in addition to the organising committee's provision of an ideal environment for the success of all in the event. A number of Ironman senior officials are present in the Kingdom to inspect preparations for the international event and to discuss the latest administrative and organisational arrangements, as well as means to enhance joint cooperation in order to make the race a success. They express thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for hosting the Ironman race, indicating that the taken measures are and earlier preparations are for the race success. The organising committee has opened registration for all those wishing to participate in the Bahrain Ironman Championship and those wishing to participate can fill out a form on the website. In a statement to Bahrain News Agency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, said that his recent visit to the Republic of Iraq was in order to implement the vision of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to strengthen Arab unity and reinforce joint Arab action to ensure the security and stability of all Arab countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed thanks and appreciation to the President of Iraq, Dr. Fouad Massoum, the Prime Minister of Iraq, Dr. Haider al Abadi, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Iraq, Dr. Ibrahim al Jafri, for their hospitality, which reflected the strong Bahraini Iraqi relations and the keenness of the two leaderships to further develop bilateral ties for the benefit of the two countries and their peoples. He commended the outcomes of the visit, which included a decision to form a joint committee of the two countries soon in order to achieve common aspirations. Sheikh Khaled highlighted the importance of the vision of His Majesty the King of reinforcing joint Arab action to preserve national and Arab security and the strategic value of Iraq to fulfill this vision. He hailed the important results achieved by Iraq in the fight against ISIL and other terrorist organizations, affirming that such efforts deserve the support of the Arab world and international community in order to eradicate terrorism, its funders and supporters, so that we can achieve global peace. 
based on the principle of providing equal educational opportunities to all individuals and diversifying those opportunities according to the special needs of students, the Ministry of Education guarantees provision of services to students with special needs. By merging those capable in public schools, whether they have Down syndrome, hearing, physical or visual disabilities or minor intellectual disabilities. The Ministry has developed schools by providing special facilities, such as elevators, specialised laptops, speakers, text enlargement devices and refreshable braille display and braille signs. Special classes for elementary students with autism have also been introduced at a number of schools, as well as a new syllabus for students with Down syndrome and minor intellectual disabilities. Also, the Ministry currently provides two teachers in classrooms, with one interpreting lessons to deaf secondary students. To ensure the success of integration, the Ministry sends specialised cadres to Arab Gulf University annually in order to attain postgraduate diplomas in special education. Workshops and training courses are also provided for teachers to further develop their skills in working with students with special needs. The Ministry will furthermore provide a number of scholarships to students with special needs. In response to the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to reduce traffic congestion in Bahrain, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Essam bin Abdullah Khalaf, stated that the Ministry has completed the second phase of a project connecting Avenue 9 of Sheikh Issa bin Salman Highway to Busaitin Block 228. The project aims to cope with the urban growth in Busaitin and the areas of located north of Maharak taking into account the need to provide alternative entrances and exits to Goose Highway and Airport Highway. The Minister explained that the project comprises of the laying of reclamation layers and then asphalt paving layer, with a total length of 2.3 kilometres. Works also include lighting, signage, painting of ground markings and the completion of construction of Road 2841 as a single road with one lane at in each direction, which is also parallel to Goose Highway connecting it to the existing equi exit along Shehisa Causeway. This will contribute to alleviating traffic congestion along Goose Highway and providing smooth traffic flow in the area, especially Saya Island with its housing and commercial units. The project will also enable citizens and residents to exit the area directly along Shehisa Causeway towards Manama, therefore reducing trip time. The minister stated that the project is considered to be an addition to the road networks in Maharak and serves Busetin residents, providing them with a quick access to King Hamid Hospital and to the residential and commercial establishments in the vicinity. The urgent development projects are part of a 1.2 billion US dollar development plan included within the GCC development program. The projects are expected to change the road network tremendously to be able to accommodate the rapid increase in population and the housing and urban sprawl in the kingdom. As part of the implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Hamaidan, continued his field visits to various villages in the country in order to follow up on the needs of citizens and brief them on the comprehensive social protection system provided to them by the government. The Minister visited Badaya and Bani Jamra to meet the citizens and listen to their requests and comments regarding labour and social development services, as well as ways to develop them in line with the vision of the government to enhance the quality of living standards. In Badaya, the Minister met with citizens from Badaya, Janabiya, Jasra and Hamala in the majlis of the late Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. He then visited Bani Jamra and met with the citizens in Bani Jamra Club. The Minister affirmed the government's keenness to develop the villages of Bahrain through establishing social and service facilities for the locals. He also urged the citizens to benefit from the training and employment opportunities offered by the Ministry to include youth in various companies and the institutions of the private sector, stressing the Ministry's keenness to support traditional crafts in villages as they are part of national heritage. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,311.8 points, marking a decrease of 7.3 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment, services, and industrial sectors. And investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector with 55% of total shares. 66 transactions included 2,360,509 shares 
worth 489,502 Bahraini dinars.